God damn it! We finally get a chance to play Florida. This is fucking great. We did this new CD. It's uh, with Sip All Carnage. It's a split. It's actually been out for a year and a half. We've got a version with a bonus track on it, a song by us, that will never be re written, re-released again. I'm going to throw a couple of copies out when we start this next song. This next song is the title of this album on our part. This is version 5.0 Beast. Version 5.0 Beast basically is about the internet, which all of us are on. You go in there, guys. And girls. You go in there. And you meet people. You talk to all these fucking really hot chicks. They send you these fucking great prom pictures of themselves right after they got out of the stupid dress and put on all that black and fucked everyone. Yeah, well, you get that shit. And you think you're going to the fucking show tonight to meet them. And you actually... Come and meet some chick that looks like me, but with bigger tits. But you know what? You're a real man, and you want to fuck her anyway. So you step up. But you brave bastards. This is a song about those who fuck her. This is version 5.0. Sit there and pull tampons out of fucking each other. Yeah. You're going, oh my god. Look 
take a piss, there's some red stuff on it. <laughs> Let's stick it in a bong and smoke it. See if we can get it high off car block. <laughs> This is our first chance to be here. We're having some technical difficulties. So, but so is everybody else. I just wanted to communicate one thought to all the man's men out there. Not that Leatherwear and Rob Halford shit been playing. But the real men like to fuck women. Or things at least look like they're born women. All that stinky chicken fish shit. What about fighting? Hell yeah. What about so, uh, fighting? I forgot what song I'm introducing. Make it a blast. This is for all those poor men whose women go to the bar and get too goddamn drunk, screw somebody else, and come home later and you find out it was your best friend, get pissed off about it. You go out to your vehicle, you open your toolbox, you grab your staple hammer, you come in and you staple that fucking pussy. Shot forever, stand by our poor slaps to die! Maybe you got sympathetic because you fucking shot so many loads on her head when she was sleeping. So, you called all your friends. You had them line up and fuck her dry ass because her puss was shut. One after one, man after man, load after load, time and time again. And then when you felt it was the proper and correct time, you went last. You shoved it in there and you pumped. And right as you got that warm, fuzzy feeling that you were about to explode your fucking nut in her ass, you put that knife down there and you said goodbye. And you cut her throat. And you pulled out all that shit sprayed all over your belly. And you gave her a final diuretic orgasm. <laughs>
out to the bar. You meet this nice fucking chick. You have a bunch of drinks. It costs you too much fucking money. Well, maybe it costs her too much money. It depends. We're down south. It might be different from where I'm from. You get her home. You take her pants off. Give her a roofie. You peel her underwear off. And I mean peel. It's nasty. It's like tape coming off a hair. Damn. And you look. And there's all these goddamn... All these serious scabby abrasions all over her pussy. And you're like... Man, are those herpes sores or is that just fucking vaginal tearing on the outside? And you think, I don't give a shit, you do the real man step up. And you peel that shit off with your teeth and your tongue, you chew it up, you swallow it, you suck everything she's got to come out of it, and then you fuck it. This is for all those brave souls. Brussels! shit, but that's the way that we like it. Best of luck to everybody, but I think this building's a big fucking echo chamber, so let's make the fucking most fun of it we can. Let's talk about what everybody, men and women alike, want to talk about. Pussy! Bloody menstrual holes! <laughs> Honey, your bloody hole, oh, I'd love to know the right. taste of me. Maybe olives. If you're up north, like New York. <clears throat> oh, I've eaten plenty, motherfucker. Fuck you. Let's meet in the parking lot. You want to fuck me? You know, you know? <laughs> Work out. We got you, man. But really, what I'd like is your girlfriend, who's having her period, sitting on a seat next to me when I'm ordering a drink because she's ducking you. And I'd like her to let me. Smell that smell. I'm gonna tip her upside down and peel her skirt up and I peel those panties aside and I stick a straw in there and I suck her cunt blood right off. The real bloody man!
out there, remember, and girls, remember those little girls that you got, you know, junior high, high school. All that really, really fresh. Not even growing pussy hair shit yet. That nice stuff. Well, we did a song, and this isn't a song about the current, at least for me, but probably for a lot of you. This is more of a remembrance. This is about little girls, tight pussies, and ain't growing pussy hair yet. This is... Second song, and then we gotta get the fuck out of here. This is the Animal Blast Shit Bit shirt. I'm gonna throw one out to you guys. Whoever doesn't catch it, and I stand starting right up now. They're five bucks a piece. Since we're not gonna get paid for this show, we need to get to the next city. This is a Slayer ripoff song, Spring Blood. The last guys play it, but you know, fuck it, we're gonna do it anyway. Spring Blood! 